fanatics. Welcome or welcome back to Diamond Painting Fanatics. I am Cindy and it's Saturday. Saturday chat day. That is my version of a whip and chat. So please do grab whatever you are working on. Come join me. I have quite a few things I want to talk about today. Yes. Um, how are you? This week has been manic. I kid you not. I don't even know where to begin. But I'm going to fill you in on all of that shortly. But... Do please grab your project, come join me, make sure you have a drink, and yeah, it is the 18th of March, and a whole lot of reminiscing is going on, and it was round about this sort of time three years ago that I was quite happy I I had come across diamond painting and I was coming across YouTube channels and decided or started thinking about creating my own and on the 3rd of April I created the channel and then kind of thought yeah no is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? Where do we stand with it? And then in May, I uploaded my first video. And the rest is history, so to speak. So, yeah, I will be celebrating my three-year anniversary here on YouTube very soon. And I kid you not, I think it is one of the best decisions I ever made because I had no idea. Um, I have told you before, I created the channel and I was going to document... It was more... The idea for me, in my mind, was more of like a journal. And I was going to document my journey. Um, I was doing therapy at the time. Um, yeah, and just... It was just going to document things like that. Um, my thoughts, my feelings and everything else. And then, of course, more and more people came across the channel and it just kind of took a life of its own. And here we are, three years later, or coming up three years, and I never in my wildest dreams ever thought ever that I would have so many amazing new friends and fanatics and supporters. I have made no secret about my life and there has been times where I overshare. And I do this because I think it's important because anyone who has suffered any, any form of abuse uh, will feel that they are alone and they are isolated and no one would possibly understand. And sadly, more people understand than you know. Um, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Um... But yeah, you guys, you fanatics have really helped me overcome my personal trauma. You have helped me overcome obstacles in my life, such as my uh, horrible, horrific bully of a landlord. You celebrated with me when I moved uh, and the journey has just been amazing. Um, I have met 
wonderful fanatics. Some of you have channels and I'm coming across more and more people who have channels and are embracing me and I can't thank you enough for that because when I started my channel I had zero self-confidence and slowly but surely it's getting better. I'm not going to say I'm fully confident, I'm not. I still get nervous doing videos, I still get nervous every Monday night before I go live. I kind of pace up and down for a couple of hours and think, oh, you know, and uh, once we're live, once we get chatting, all of that kind of disappears and I'm with friends and thank you. Thank you for embracing that kind of journey with me. So over the three years and mainly within, I don't know, the, the last kind of maybe six months, maybe a bit longer, I have branched out here on my channel. I go live on a Monday and it's not something I ever thought I would do. Um, I remember being terrified the first time I did it. But, yeah, like I said, I'm with friends and everything else. And I try to do content for you regularly. I don't have a tight schedule. I'll get into that in a second. But then I introduced the Fanatic memberships here on my channel. And it was set at £9 a month. And for that, you get a lot of perks and free gifts and uh, Christmas presents. Um, I changed it because my memory is shocking. And, yeah, you get a lot of perks. And I was once told, oh, don't do that. No one does that. That's that. No, no dime painting channel does that. Just don't, don't even. And... I sat back and thought, well, hang on a minute. Let's just put it out there as an option. See what happens. And little did I know that you all rallied around and are supporting me um, through um, my memberships and things. And again, I can't thank you enough for that because... It means so much and again my self-confidence comes into play and you just make me feel appreci appreciated and welcomed and I, I truly, truly can't thank you enough and I have 21 members. Um, I did have someone come to me and say, mm, you know, it's a bit pricey and can you not do like a cheaper one so of course i i listened to the advice and i did that and i have two tiers you can have a fanatic family membership or a support family membership now one thing i did say when i moved right now it's still chaos okay but um, I definitely want to live up to what i said i want to do a fanatic all of you, all, all of my fanatic members, I want to do, um, I want to go live with just my members and have a chat and, you know, uh, interact with you all one on one. And we need to sit down and work out when would be the best time to do that. You know, would it be early evening or you know, a weekend or, you know, we need to sit down and work that out. But I truly, truly appreciate all of the support that all of you guys have shown me since I've entered the YouTube world. Now, advice for newbies, okay? If you're thinking about doing a channel, I highly recommend it. However, it's not an overnight success. 
it's definitely not that. It takes dedication and passion and yeah there there is a whole world that goes into creating content and um you know unboxings and all of the different things that people do on youtube and it takes time out of your your day or your week however much you throw into your channel and it's it's a lot so don't go into it thinking it's going to be easy it's really not it is honestly there is the secret life of a youtuber that that is a real thing and it takes a lot a lot of patience and dedication and my biggest piece of advice for anyone is don't worry about your numbers. Don't obsess over numbers. Because that takes the fun, that takes the passion out of it. Because you're just constantly aiming, oh, I need another 10 to make it 50 subscribers. Or I need another 50 to make it 100. Or I need another 400 to make it 500. I need... It, it just takes the fun out of it. If you're yourself and you're grounded and you're genuine and you're doing it because you purely love diamond painting, the numbers will come. Trust me. I never thought I'd be sat here on over... Well, what am I at now? 1,600-ish? And... um never ever ever did I think I would ever get here so moving on from that um obviously as a diamond painter I truly am fanatical about diamond painting I invested in a couple of companies throughout the UK and I got swindled uh, disappointed, conned, let down. Um, one canvas I bought from someone who doesn't exist anymore. Um, it took over six months to get to me. Then one, it was a, a Christmas design and it was on a wooden background. And I was placing the drill or something and this is a bit weird. And then I thought, well, let's switch the colour out. And the wood, you know, the colour of wood, like pale wood, um, was pink and green. So I kind of took a photo and messaged them and said, hey, this doesn't look quite right. And they came back and went, oh, not you as well. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Oh, this is happening a lot. And, you know, I haven't, um, I've, I've ditched the supplier, basically, because he couldn't get it right. And I was like, okay, cool. And then he was like, oh, I'm going to reissue it. I'm like, oh, cool, so you've got a supplier then? No. And I thought, well, how can you reissue it if you don't have a supplier? It just didn't add up. And the next thing you know, they disappeared. And then Row Diamonds, for whatever reason, decided that was enough for them. And I just saw an opening. And again, I came in with a vision that I would create this diamond painting company. And I, it didn't happen overnight. People seem to think that it's really easy. It's not. I assure you, it is really not. I had this idea that I was going to create this company and I tested out several and I mean dozens and spent a good amount of money but dozens and dozens of suppliers and they sent me double-sided but the legend was really good and the canvas was really clear so I thought yep 
that's that's the one for me and then they sent me um I ordered like some sample batches and I put an order in for say I don't know 10 canvases and then I sent it off eagerly awaited the arrival of them and they all turned up and they were round drill canvases with square drills or square canvases with round drills can't remember which but basically the drills didn't match the canvas oh we will reissue it i went no don't bother if you're gonna let me down on a personal level you're gonna let all of my customers down so they were out and the story continues like that for a good few months then i came across my supplier and everything was amazing. Uh, Legend was really easy to follow. Scalloped edging, velvet back in, comes with ABs, everything that I asked for. Amazing. And then, yeah, I, I have a new supplier now who is even more awesome. And he is understanding that I, I am now a business. Uh, before it was kind of test the waters sort of thing and Dainty was born about wasn't quite a year ago it was round about now um that I was kind of thinking about it I think so we've been um I haven't been going a year it's been less than a year but yeah um and again I, I wanted to step into that custom market because it was wide open. All of these UK companies were disappearing. And my vision was to offer customs and mystery diamond paintings because that's kind of what they were doing and they all disappeared. Little did I know that... I mean, just going back for a minute, it, it took me a long time, and I mean months, to feel comfortable enough to go, hey, fanatics, guess what? I have a company. And a couple of you heard me. A couple of you heard me, and you placed orders, and you were very happy with what, what you received from me, and that was amazing. But still, that didn't quite give me the confidence to come out and go, hey, YouTube, I'm a dome painting company. And, yeah, it's only been within the last couple of months, really, that I've started talking about it. And I have some, too. <laughs> I have amazing friends in the background who I can sort of go hey I need some advice and they're there without fail they are there what is it what you're thinking what you're going through and I always worry that I talk too much about my company and I talk too much about what I'm doing or what I'm going through with different things and everyone's like we love it we love your sneak peeks we love everything that you're doing and that's what is amazing and I try to involve you as much as I can uh, for example on Monday I was like hey fanatics what would you like to see and you gave me a whole list of um, options that you would like to see appearing in um, Dainty Diamond Art. And they are coming, I assure you. So, with that said, Dainty was born and Cindy got some confidence and is openly talking about her store and, yeah... I, I like to involve you as much as I can in everything that's going on. So, thank you. A massive, massive thank you. Um, a big thank you to uh, Lisa's Colouring Corner. I think that is the right 
way around. Massive thank you to you. You have embraced me recently. <laughs> and you keep coming back. I, I can see. I can see you. Um, I've had, I'm up to nearly 130 orders and I, th it's just mind blowing to me, um, that you guys are trusting me. I know, um, I've let a couple of you down, um, a couple of you are still waiting and I can only apologise. Um, I am on it, I am sorting it, there is a couple of you, less of you now, um, we're catching up with ourselves, but... Yeah, I am sorting it and um, obviously there will be free gifts in it as well. So as soon as everything is sorted, expect a random parcel here and there just as an apology and a thank you for your patience and everything else. I hate letting people down and it is the worst feeling. So I want... Because, and I think it's because... The other companies did that. And the last thing I want is to step into a market and feel I'm doing the same thing. But we're on it. All orders are going out and everything is going amazingly well. Now, with that said, I, I haven't done any sneak peeks this week. I do have releases. They are coming. But I have given you no sneak peeks this week. And that's because I've been super crazy busy behind the scenes. Now, there is another UK company that has decided to close its doors. And I messaged them and said, that is, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. Um... And we got chatting and I am buying them out. Yeah, you heard me. Little old me is buying another company out. <laughs> I'm not divulging what company uh, because we are still in talks. Everything is set for April and... Yes, I I am in shock and I'm just mind blown at the whole notion that this woman who decided three years ago to set up a YouTube channel, uh, less than a year ago set up a diamond painting company, is now getting recognised, getting known. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just mind blown, guys. I really am. I'm overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, I kind of pull back a little bit. Just to... I, I am... And I, I think it's because of my traumatic past. I'm in a very different place now. But my processing works differently to... Joe blogs um my processing ways are very very different and I need to sometimes sit back and think mm, was that a good idea because I'm very impulsive I am very spontaneous and it doesn't always pay off in the long run but this will this will this is an investment and yeah I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet with all of this stuff. So um, I do have to go pick it up. It's an hour's drive from my house to get there. Then obviously I have to drive home with all of this stock and everything else. So I'm excited. I am excited. But of course, Dainty will still be running. We will still be doing the uh, new releases. And... I'm very excited. I am very excited. I had a vision that I wanted to expand. And here we are, we're doing it together. We're doing it together. 
So I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. Um, because there's just a whole lot going on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do everything right and you know with the new releases and everything else I have a couple sat in my house right now that I obviously have to do videos for um, and everything else and they are sneaky peekies as I call them they are sneaky peekies so they're not released on the website yet and I'm looking at them and I I love them and I hope you guys love my canvases and my my products as much as I do. Now I did say I can't get them all. Yeah. Uh I can't. I really can't and um especially now. But yeah, I I love I I love dainty. I love Dainty Diamond Art. I love that I sat down and created this amazing company. And I love my products. I'm proud of my products. And I don't think that's big-headed to say. I love working on my products. And, of course, I love my Diamond Art Clubs and everything else that goes along with that. It's not all about me and my products. But I'm super proud of them. And I hope that they bring you joy when you receive them. Now, just to come back to Lisa's Colouring Corner. You left me a comment on my last Saturday chat day, I think it was. And you said about stickers. Um, I do intend to do stickers. I don't know if I can do, uh, like, stickers for your kitten up pots. I'm not sure I'm clever enough to pull that off without it being time consuming. So yeah. I I am going to do stickers. What I was thinking of doing was doing a um you know like let's just say home sweet home because I've just released that on my channel. So home sweet home I will put the image and then I'll put uh, 50 by 60 I think mine is um, in square and uh, the artist is Fanara so I will do like a little handwritten thing next to it um, that you can keep for your logbook or for whatever reason you choose um, yeah and I'm I'm thinking about that so that's what I was thinking of doing. So because now this is where it gets tricky because my supplier ships straight to overseas. So I do all of the UK orders and there's a lot of you guys. <laughs> but I do the UK orders um, and my supplier sends them straight um, to America and Canada and Australia and so on and so forth. So I could pop them in an envelope and send them to you because obviously my supplier won't do that and he's going to be like, yeah, no, we're, you know, we're not working for you in that regard. Uh, so I could do that for you guys. I will quite happily do that. If that is something you're interested in, please do let me know in the comments. Would you like a little sticker um, with, you know, the size and who the artist is, if it is a licensed art piece? But, yeah, let me know. Let me know, and I will get to work on that. But it is... it. I just need a week or two, three, to, to kind of get that momentum going, because, obviously, it's going to be me doing it. Um... And I feel like I've already bitten off more than I can chew at the moment. Because I am playing with release sheets. My system that I had planned has worked. I just have to perfect it. It 
that's the tricky bit. I have to perfect it because I am a little bit fussy. I want to give you um, good products and, you know, not half asked. I don't do anything half asked, especially when it comes to Dainty Diamond Art. I won't, I won't go down that road. Oh, that'll do. Uh, no, it won't. Because I'm not happy, therefore you won't be happy, is my logic. Even though I am my own worst critic, 99% of the time. So, okay. I have been getting a lot of questions. And, yeah, I just want to address a couple of them. Dainty Diamond Art is my company and I'm super proud of it. So, I often get asked, what is a velvet backing? And one lady I was talking to, and I said to her, oh, you get a velvet backed canvas, you get ABs, and um, what was the other thing? Um, Eco-friendly packaging, and um, poured glue, that was the other one. And she came back to me and was like, what is poured glue? What is ABs? And what do you mean by velvet backing? And I said, no word of a lie, I actually did this. I went, oh, you're a newbie. And she said, yeah, I've only done a couple. Um, she was looking at getting a custom done. And I was like, that's so cool. So I said... You know when you order from Amazon and it's like a plasticky canvas? And she's like, yep. I said, mine are not like that. They're soft and cushioned when you diamond paint on them. It's all like nice and soft. And ABs are extra sparkly drills. They have a special coating on. And poured glue. Uh, yeah. It's amazing stuff. It's better than the uh, alternative, which is double-sided tape where you can't move anything uh so it's quality is what it is and yeah so i'm super proud of, of what i am creating and with your help and guidance and your advice and your input you're helping me become better because you know you're telling me what you would like to see and i'm all for that Truly, I am. Uh, but I think because I also diamond paint, I want an easy legend. I don't want to be doing... Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I can't even think of... Like Victoria's Moon, you have all, like, those uh, squares and then you have... It's divided into four and the um, top left and bottom right is coloured in... And then you have one that's half coloured in. Then you have another one that's um, right, top right, bottom left coloured in. And it's complicated. I don't want to be doing that. I just want to go 1 to 8, A to Z, and a couple of symbols on the bottom. Job done. That's what I want. And that's what I have. Uh, yeah. I, I just want nice easy projects nice easy kitten ups um if you're in the uk you'll get yours in a big nice posh box and your drills come in a box also and what i'm trying to do is eliminate as much plastic as i can uh, optional toolkit um if you are overseas sadly you're going to get it as the supplier sends it out and there will be a toolkit in there. You can tell me you don't want one, but the supplier will put one in. So, yeah, there, there's a whole lot going on. And, yeah, I've got to um, go to uh, the old company and pick up all of their stock. They said, oh, do you want us to send it? I was like, I might as well pick it all up in one go. Don't worry about it. Um, so I'll be going there early April. And then I, I will make announcements. There will be um, 
you know, I, I will share the journey with you once it's concrete, once it's confirmed, once everything is in place. I don't want to say too much in case they don't want people to know as well. Uh, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's where I'm at this week. Um, because I have been super busy and super manic and deep in conversations and everything else, I didn't have time to do a slideshow because I also did an unboxing and everything else. Um, I'm working on my other projects as well. I have my sneaky peekies here that I really want to dive into and kind of kit up and get going. Uh, there's a whole lot going on. So for this week, I apologise profusely. There is no slideshow of all of your uh, spring fling canvases. And I deeply apologise for that. Um, but please do understand, I am one person. I'm just one human being. And I was saying to my kids, oh, you'll never guess this, you know. And they're just like, mm-hmm. And that's why I come on here and talk to you, because you're interested, I think. Um, you're engaging, you're supportive. My kids are just like, what have you done? What have you done now? Tell me you didn't. I'm like, yeah, kind of did. Kind of did. So... There you go. Thank you for being more supportive than my children. Okay. So, as I explained, I haven't done any sneaky peeks this week. However, I have come up with a couple of new releases for you guys because I know you tune into Saturday Chat Day for those as well. So the first one we have is Pretty in Pink. How super cute is this? It's it's so adorable and yeah, I thought very fitting. Um you will see a theme <laughs> um in today's releases and I think because I didn't pre plan them and schedule them all week like I normally do. Yeah, I've kind of gone with a theme this week. So, yeah, this is licensed artwork. And um, another one from the same artist is Coffee First. I mean, it's very fitting, isn't it? We can't do anything without our tea or coffee before anything else, especially first thing in the morning. So, yeah, these are licensed and, yeah, again, I'm going to change the way I do this because um, it was Lisa that brought it to my attention. It's a bit confusing and I know I, I, sh I give you the full reveal on a Saturday chat day and then... I make you wait all weekend, and I think that's a little bit unfair. So, I'm going to release them today. So, yeah, when when I do the grand reveal here on my channel, on my Saturday chat day, then I will then release them later on in the day. So, just keep checking back. And, of course, as always, let me know your favourite ones down below. Okay, so... The next one, as requested by quite a few of you, you wanted wolves, so I brought you Standing Together. This is licensed by Fanara, and I thought, again, it's very, very fitting because we are all standing together, and I feel very supported here on my channel with with my channel, with my content, with my company and I'm just seriously overwhelmed. Behind the scenes I'm overwhelmed but supported and that brings me 
a big chunk of comfort. So standing together, I mean, how amazing is this? It's absolutely adorable and cute. And I, I love this one. The next one, we've got two more. Okay, so the next one, again, is by Fanara. And it is called Self Confidence. Do you see the theme? We, I am building up in self-confidence. I think this is an absolutely adorable and cute painting. And she is standing in her power. And you can see that she she's building her self-confidence. And, and she's confident. And it just resonated with me. Especially this week when I was going through. Oh, which ones shall we do a sneaky peeky on? But yeah, I I I I, um, I super love this one. Um, it's adorable. And the final release for this week, and this I've saved this one till last because it's going to come out as a collection, and I'm super excited about this collection. Uh, Fanara and I chat quite regularly and I said to her, hey, I kind of want a a collection and this is what she came up with because I kind of gave her the keyword and I am releasing Leo this week and every now and then, I'm not going to put it to a schedule, but every now and then I will release the next Zodiac sign. But again, with the theme of today, Leo and a lion represent strength and courage and bravery. And that's where I was going with this new release as well. So you have five this week. And yeah, I'm sorry that there wasn't any kind of build up or excitement leading up to it. But I, I just had to find some to release and I was kind of going through all of the images that I have and they're the ones that I settled on for this week so there's kind of a theme where we're pretty in pink and we need our coffee and then we're all standing together and self-confidence and strength and bravery to step out into the world and own it and that's the theme for this women chat um i i feel super amazing thanks to you guys and yeah again i'm just overwhelmed and you know i'm trying to get this whip and chat ready for you for saturday and it's currently 4 a.m and i'm recording so yeah i don't want to let you down and I think that is it is the moral of my story really. I don't want to let you down. And um of course I will be live on Monday. I have been watching a million dollar listing with Frederick. I don't know if you've ever seen it or not, but um Luis left and I'm really quite sad that he left and I was hunting him down on social media to see if he had found himself because he was in a very high-pressured, high-powered, well-paid job and he could have quite happily have just carried on on that. But he was feeling um, unsettled and he sat back and thought, yeah, I don't want to be doing this for the next 25 years. So he decided to just pack up and move and I was hunting him down on social media on Instagram and Facebook and sadly I think he's deleted all his accounts and I'm a little bit worried for him but I hope wherever he is and whatever he's doing he's found happiness and more inner peace than than anything else I just kind of really resonated with him and I think that's kind of why I was hunting him down to see where he was today. 
But yeah, he left and that, that saddened me a little bit. But he was off to pursue his his gut instinct and his what he wanted to do. And Ryan and Frederick were all like, well, that's just stupid and childish. You're not thinking it through. You're not, you know, you're not in your 20s. Any, well, he was, he, I think he was 29 at the time. But he was, um, yeah, he he didn't get the reaction or the... Yeah, the reaction that he kind of expected, you know, for them to go, oh, mate, I wish you luck. Good good luck with it. Um, they were all like, yeah, no, that's stupid. You can't just pack up and leave. And he was like, well, yeah, actually, I can. And he did. Um, not many people would be that brave. And Louis, Louis was. And, um, yeah, I just hope he's found happiness. But if you haven't ever seen Million Dollar Listing at New York, that is, um, I, I definitely recommend it. it. It is a bit, um, see how the other half live. And, you know, they sell, like, million dollar homes and you get to see not only the homes and where they're going to be moving into, but their real life as well. Now, Frederick, <laughs> he does this... Uh, I'm going to insert a clip of him here. Ja, händerna upp och glöm inte de spetsiga fingrarna. Wee! Wee! <laughs> det såg ut som en såhär utvecklingsstörd dinosaur. Ja, för dem är det. Okej, kom, okej, kom då. Wee! Ja, det är bra. Han gjorde det. But he does this, like, little... High kick, he calls it, and, and makes this funny sound. And I was sat on my chair, diamond painting, and Reese was on the dining room table, diamond painting. And uh, I spun my chair, and I stuck my little hands out, as he does, and did the high kick in my chair. And I was like, wee! And Reese went, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I just got a ka on my phone. And I've decided that every time I get a ka no matter where I am, what I'm doing, I could be in the middle of a supermarket, I don't care, I'm going to do that high kick. And um, I had two orders today. Um, one from, I don't know if you mind me saying or not, but um, one from Miss Kate and one from Lisa's Colouring Corner. And I appreciate that. I, um, yeah. And I did the high kick twice today. So, or last night. But, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, fast on my way to 130 orders. I, I just, I can't believe it. I can't. I'm super, super grateful to you guys. Honestly and truly. Now, before I sign off for today, changes are a-coming, but they're all good, they're all positive. My product is not changing, my website is not going anywhere. Um, my social media, I will work out the best course of action for that, but I am super excited. And, yeah, I, I th there's a whole lot going on. I'm I'm trying to be calm and patient and work through the best strategy for um moving forward. Now, when I say changes are a coming, what I mean by that is expansion. We're expanding and I'm super grateful because I have been putting it into the universe that I have been wanting to expand and grow and become more known. And then a conversation with this other UK company came and I was like, yeah, OK, I'll buy all your leftover stock. And they said, fine, we'll cease trading and shut everything down. So I'm super excited because 
I'm stepping into an expansion, is what it is. And a massive thank you to my two dainty angels, that's what I'm going to call you, um, where I go to for advice um, and let them know... <laughs> I let them know what I'm up to and they're like, are you joking? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not joking. So a massive thank you to you guys that um, are, is listening, guiding and helping. And obviously I say, oh, I need some advice. Shoot, I'm here. What do you need? And then I offload and then, yeah, they, it is a relaunch. That's where we're going, okay? It's it's a relaunch. And it's not that anything needs relaunching, we're expanding. But I'm going to call it a relaunch. So when everything is finalised and settled at the start of April, then I am going to then just introduce everything. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. One of my little angels had an amazing idea. And I'm like... Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, another one of Luis's quotes. So, yeah, thank you, thank you um, for just being an amazing friend and a, an amazing dainty angel, as I'm going to call you. Okay, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign off. And you're all thinking, wait, Cindy, wait. You haven't given us the code word yet. So, let's throw in today's code word. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all of you gorgeous mums out there. Um, I don't think my kids will do anything special. I'm kind of like edging my bets that uh, no. Um, I'm going to go and visit my mum today and, yeah, go see how she is and spend the day with her and then come home and work. Um, I work a lot. So, okay, it's Mother's Day. So, shall we put the code word as... Flowers, because I'm going to be taking her some with a bottle of wine. So, flowers is your code word for today. And of course, I will, as always, uh, I will be drawing the winner live on Monday at mm, around about eight. Between eight and half nine, uh, I go live at eight, so it'll be nearer nine by the time I've said hello to everyone and had a chat with everyone. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's your code word. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea right now. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Monday. If not, in an upcoming video. And happy Mother's Day, you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me company. And I will see you very soon. Love, hugs and sparkles to you all. Bye-bye.